Good morning, morning. Let's Pleasure. dive into it. Um, entrepreneurship and, and, and entertainment, music, it's got a lot of challenges. What can you tell us yeah. about those and how do we overcome those? All right. So uh, when it comes to entertainment, and in my case, I'm a singer-songwriter, for those of you who do not know, um, and specifically an uh, English singing, indie singer-songwriter, uh, uh, the certain challenges we face uh, is that especially here in India, I'm, I'm based in India, uh, we do not have a strong label that would, you know, support indie artists or help in the promotion and distribution of our music. So most of us here are DIY musicians. And uh, this also comes with the fact that uh, in India, if you guys have watched Bollywood movies, you would know like every Indian film comes with uh, five to six songs. So music industry is more or less like a subset of the film industry here. And because of the same reason, um, you know, the kind of push and the promotion that the uh, songs that belong to these movies get, all the indie music or like any music that's outside of the movie industry, they are literally unheard by the audiences. I mean, we don't get enough push. So that's one thing that we face. And um, I think the next thing that I have in mind, it's, applies to like, I think all uh, areas today, you know, with, uh, you know, all these different social media platforms that we have, right? Uh, there is a chance, there's a probably probability that anything can go viral, right? So I have this, this is what I feel, not many of you would agree with me, but I feel like people have uh, stopped focusing on quality of content. Um, and it's just about, you know, you make something for a minute as long as it you know gets people's attention for that one minute no matter what way you choose to do it right we are all focusing on something you know going viral i feel like the quality of content has reduced and um because of that it's kind of become tough to stand out of the clutter but at the same time i would definitely like to add that with the same uh, social media a lot of us have gained quite a lot it's i think um there is opportunity, definitely. It uh, depends upon how you pursue these opportunities. And I don't say that uh, luck is a thing, but yeah, definitely being at the right time and right place matters a lot. So yeah, uh, these are certain things that I feel like, you know, um, at least people in the entertainment field and musicians uh, we face. And there's only one particular solution and that is, uh, you know, you never give up. You never give up. Well, if here's my have... question. How do you keep yourself motivated while you're going through these challenges, though? What is the remedy to it? I mean, you don't want to give up, but how do you not give up for the long period of time? I've had a thousand reasons to give up. I come from a very conservative community, from a very conservative place. Like 10, 15 years ago, I would have never imagine that this is what I would be doing full time, like singing, performing. Um, I always dreamt of being a rock star, but it wasn't even an option. I think for me specifically, it's been this voice inside my head. Okay, Nitu, don't give up. Don't give up. I mean, there have been times when I almost came close to giving up. But then I think something in me kept me going. Um, and uh, fortunately, I think I have always realized that failures do come, uh, you know, in your path, but it's all about getting back up. And these are just not like, you know, just quotes. Uh, they actually apply to life. And if you actually apply it in your life, you will, you know, find success. I mean, it's, I've had quite a difficult journey and that's made me who I am. I'm very grateful for it. And uh, like I said, you know, if you've made a decision to do something, you know, uh, okay, uh, let go of your regular job and then move on into a field that's more, uh, you know, risky, it's fine. You've made that decision and stick to it and give it your all. Never give up because hard work always pays off. And by experience, I know that. And I think discipline matters a lot, uh, which is kind of like a lost habit today. Uh, I mean, I myself take the lockdown, for example. For the first one and a half months, I did go on quite a binge watching spree. But then, I mean, now I wish I could take all that. I, mean, I could go back into the past and change all that. 
but then now i have a very disciplined routine i wake up as early as 5 a.m and i work on a lot of things and it's helped me like in the last one and a half months the kind of changes that have come into my life in itself is a huge thing so yeah discipline matters too and then just don't give up that's it i mean there are a lot of tools available today because of the internet so try to use it to your advantage yeah so here's my question how important is it through this journey to have support and i don't mean like family saying i love you you could do it i'm not talking about i'm talking about like mentors and coaches and individuals that have possibly and potentially been where you have been or where you're trying to go so they've already mm-hmm. kind of i'm not talking about a mentor i'm talking about a guide because you could have the map but if you don't have a guide it's completely mm-hmm. different how important is it to have a mentor um i think it's quite important and especially if you can find someone who uh, is in your field who's like you said who's been through that particular journey or at least knows that journey right it can make things way easier for you because uh from you know some of us the way we perceive things can be quite different from the way it should be on an easier path and um i think uh, for me for example I- i'm sure you you would know about mind valley the app vishen lakhani mind valley so uh a lot of changes did come to me once i you know became a member of mind valley and started watching all these master classes you know just about uh, just a fact that you know constant positivity can change your life completely i mean we are we are just brought up to be negatively wired you know and it takes a lot of effort to change that and uh, it may not be easy for everyone uh, but having someone to guide you right there just to change the way you think about everything to you know just being positive about everything i mean change every negative scenario to the best case scenario and that's what uh, reverend michael beckwith says uh, so i did attend one of his courses i completed uh, that and that happened during the lockdown too so yeah he says like you know change every worst case scenario that you could possibly you know that naturally comes to your mind about anything to the best case scenario and in the beginning it can be really tough you have to really you have to force yourself to think that way and it takes time it takes patience it doesn't matter go out of your way and forcefully change that to a best case scenario and as you keep doing that you'll actually find positive energy filling you up you know so um yeah so i i do believe i mean to me like um reading is also some kind of a coaching or you know mentorship and it's a lost habit again reading is pure wisdom i read a lot of books uh, i did lose a habit somewhere about 5 uh, years ago but as of the last 2 years i've been like reading quite a lot of books so it's changed my life completely yeah yeah i don't know why people don't read that often i mean you know what it is I think it's because easy, it's easy enough more people don't do it because to me is like reading a book like if you don't have 15 20 minutes for self development every day for yourself like I don't understand what are you doing like it doesn't make sense how you going to grow as an individual you. and be a contributor to the society it doesn't matter where you live we all live on the same planet and covid-19 yeah. proved that that regardless of the distance and the oceans you know yeah. it was very very close and every country every human being uh it's commun- it's it's connected now it might be a delay in the process one month two month but we're all yeah, connected so true. we are all in it together it's, we're all ultimately exactly. facing the same things yeah so i exactly. do agree and with that's you the key element. it's easy for people not to read that's why they don't do it but if it was hard i believe that mm-hmm. more people would be like okay it's a, it's work i got to go do it but 15 20 minutes and you don't even have to read we have made it so easy these days with audible i mean listen yeah. mind valley is fantastic right mm-hmm. but what if you can't afford the mind valley let's yeah, say yeah. you come from a family mm-hmm. because i went through that if if i was 15 or 16 years old today and what i was doing back then i don't know if i had a couple of hundred dollars to go spend right but mm-hmm. with the same token you have the entire youtube for free you have so yeah. many instagram individuals coaches that are putting videos on so you can get the content now it may not be as organized as you know if you go buy a course all of this but the same materials could be found other places it might take you longer you It's might have to do more true. work 
that's very true that's where i started off i started off listening to all uh, you know the talks by say dr joe dispenza on youtube that's where it started for me but i think the real reason why people can't uh, they don't spend enough time reading today is uh, i mean at least most most of my friends or people who talk to me um, when i tell them please read and they actually attempt it initially they come back to me saying uh, it makes me feel sleepy and then like you know 5 minutes later i am asleep and i think this is also because we uh, live in a world that's just designed to distract us i mean look at us we are so used to watching the television or like say movies uh, that kind of uh, you know involves multiple senses right like you're watching something you're listening to it you're completely into it it kind of com- uh, it kind of takes all your focus into it but reading even though it's much simpler it, it's just become harder for us to focus 5 minutes on to just uh, you know words that are immobile so Definitely. i think that you got to remember the way you sit and the way you position your body and where you at and what state of mind you in it also makes a difference if i if i if even for me that i do re- i i think i do a lot of reading right but that is very subjective depends who you compare it to right but yeah. when i'm when i'm reading and something that i need to focus on the position you're sitting the table you're sitting the way you got your highlighter the way you have your book the way you got to go on a silent mode on your phone distractions all of these things I now you're becoming intentional about it versus just mm-hmm. being passive yes if i read in bed exactly. i'm going to fall asleep in like two exactly not even five i don't minutes. understand why people do that like okay yeah i'll i'll take a book just before i go to bed i'll read a few pages of it i mean that's like you're using reading as a mechanism to fall asleep earlier i mean if you really want to you know make uh, learn something from a book you seat yourself on a couch like that you know there should be ample lighting i mean you have to set the intention i'm here to read and gain some wisdom from this book you know uh, once you set that intention i think you can actually like you know you know put yourself and spend some time on reading because once people realize i, I think most people if they would just finish reading one book right a good book it can be something i think one of the easiest books that anyone can read today is uh, this robin sharma book called who will cry when you die i mean i think it's hardly got some uh, 120 pages or so and it's very well organized and each chapter is like two sides of a page that's it and it gives you like specific tasks you know it ta- talks about journaling it talks about you know how i uh, it you don't have to meditate but or you know some people they listen to the, the words meditation and spirituality you know they just generally tend to dismiss it because they really don't understand it but at the end of the day what is meditation it's just clearing the clutter you know that's in your mind and uh, just free your mind of everything that's you know happening around you and within you just be sit silently maybe just reflect on what's happening in your life for like 5 10 minutes right so it talks about that and very uh, in very simple terms it's a book that you can finish in a few hours and it's a book I that you can like read multiple times for all of these books and authors i think you should be in the marketing department for all these i think i think vision vision should pay you some money your your marketing mind value. but i got you know, the opportunity I, I to, to sit down you, here, here is what i have that Huh. I don't think that many people have uh, in my possession. Some of my friends are here and they're like chatting with each other I think. <laughs> so yeah. tell me, I, tell I me got a copy of Think and Grow Rich and, and grow when rich. I met Vishen. Yeah. Yes, huh. when I met Vishen, he actually signed it. I got his autograph on it so uh, I, I have Vishen <laughs> I got graph on it and I don't have one I have three of them I made sure that he gives me multiple ones so I got three of the uh, thinking go yeah. rich that he signed for yeah. me so you're a publicist yeah. for mind valley now I know where to go not to just mind my, valley you know any any good book or any good app uh, that I feel has positively influenced me right obviously I want to share it with as many people as I can I mean there's another book if you haven't heard thousand little things that happy successful people do differently have you even come ac- have you come across it I have heard of it I have not seen it. It's it's a great book. It's a great book. I mean, if you actually look at it, um 
because I've read a lot of books that falls under the personal development category, I can say that this is yet another book that kind of probably combines everything that's in all the other books. But that in itself Someone is really asking what's say. the name of the book. Mention it one more time so they get it. That is thousand, uh, little, I think it's thousand plus, um, thousand plus little things that happy, successful people do differently. And they, uh, everything in that book is like, you know, points. It's uh, very precise, solid. And uh, I think when you read it, as you read it, you'll start feeling the change in you. I mean, these are just books that will just open up your mind. And uh, it, it's basically just asking you to be more positive in life and how you just being positive can, you know, make a lot of positive changes in your life. How you can, it doesn't talk about manifestation and visualization. I think that's for people, uh, you know, uh, who is... Um, who is into meditation and spirituality a little bit, but this is more uh, about, if you know Robin Sharma, you would understand the difference between Robin Sharma yeah, and Robin Michael Sharma, Beckwith. Yeah, Robin Sharma, he's cool. Yeah. He's yeah. cool. Listen, yeah. I know it's really late over there. I appreciate you <laughs> staying up and, and, and spending Thank this you. time with us. Thank you for Thank having me. Thank you so much me. for being here. Um, hopefully yeah. we'll get to do more because we have a lot of uh, other content that we need to discuss because if we're going to dissect all of these, I don't think one video yeah, of 20, yeah. 30 and minutes we, should, is we don't want to bore the people here. So, <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for Thank being here. Thank you for having safe. me. Thank you. Anytime. I Thank hope you. everything's fine there with you. I mean, I hope you are safe. Uh, we're, we're staying safe and, and hopefully you guys are doing the same. We're doing the social distancing. But that doesn't mean yeah. we're not doing the work and we're not doing self-development. We're utilizing this time for good. Exactly. I mean, it's just the time that the world has given every one of us to kind of, you know, work on ourselves. That's how we should just see it as. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. So thank, thank you, you so much. Me. Talk to you soon. See you again. Yeah. Bye. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.